With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, so the question is 12 wires of equal resistance R are connected to form a cube. The effective resistance between two diagonal ends A and E will be. So for this let's see solution. So actually in this question we have to find here the effective resistance between the two diagonal ends that is A and E. Okay, so for this uh, let us assume these two terminal ends means uh, two uh, diagonal ends of this cube are connected to a supply of a battery okay to a supply of a battery with a volt of V right so uh, after connecting a battery across this two terminal the current flow throughout this branch will be A now after reaching to this point this current will get divided into three parts so the current flow throughout this branch will be I by 3 with respect to point E. Similarly, the current flow throughout this branch will be I by 3 and from this branch it will be I by 3. Now, if this current I by 3 will reach to this point, so after reaching to this point it will get divided into two parts that is I by 6, I by 6, right? And similarly, after reaching to this point, this I by 3 will get divided into two parts that is I by 6 and I by 6. And after reaching to this point, means at point E, the current out from this point E will be I, right? So, uh, to find the effective resistance between these diagonal ends A and E, we will use Kirchhoff voltage law, okay? So, here by using KVL for this loop okay we can write the potential at point A let's suppose is V of A minus I by 3 now according to question each of the branch having the resistance R so this will be minus I by 3 times of R minus I by 6 times of R minus I by 3 times of R minus potential at point E will be VE this should be equals to 0 ok now from here we get VA minus VE this would become equals to that is we are taking this all the three terms to that side so it will become positive while if we take I common so this would become I in bracket R by 3 plus R by 3 plus R by 6. Okay. Now, if we simplify this, we get I in bracket 2R by 3 plus R by 6. Further simplifying it, we get I in bracket 5I R divided by 6. Right. So, actually, we got here the potential difference between point A and E, that is VA minus VE is equals to I, in bracket 5 are divided by 6. Okay. Now, let's suppose, after simplifying this cube, the equivalent resistance which we are getting between point A and E is as R dash. Okay. So, to find the resistance, uh, we simply use the Ohm's law. So, by using Ohm's law, this uh, resistance R dash will become is equals to potential at point A minus potential at point E divided by current flowing through the resistance that is I. So, this will become is equals to from here, if we take I to that side, so VA minus VE divided by I will become is equals to 5R divided by 6. Okay. So, from here I can say that the equivalent resistance or we can say the effective resistance between the two diagonal points of A and E is we got here as 5R divided by 6. Okay. So, if we look at the given option, so option first that is 5R divided by 6 will become correct answer for this question. So, this is the required solution. I hope you like the solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.